this is a college campus network design uh, we have explained uh, the specifications and all the implementation we've done in the report so to for the implementation we've uh, used two labs lab 1 lab 2 and the libraries is part of the academic section and this is the hostel so we've mentioned the number of pcs we've used and the number of laptops uh, and the networking uh, devices and all that in the report uh, and the IP addresses that we've used and uh, the how many access points and uh, the subnetting the range of IP addresses and all that is mentioned in the report so please uh, refer to that now I'm going to show you the demo like a short demo I'll be sending packets from one PC to another and uh, First, I will show you the demo in real time and then in simulation mode. So, I'm sending a packet from zoom in a bit. Uh, send a message from PC2 in lab 1 to PC11. As you can see, it was successful. Which means the message has been sent successfully. I'll send, I, I'll send a message from PC0 in lab 1 to laptop 8, lab 2. As you can see here, the message is sent successfully. I, uh, now I'll end all this. Uh, uh, I'm showing you the demo in real time right now. So, as you can see, if it shows the status is successful, which means the packet has been sent successfully. I will send a packet from lab 2 to the library to this PC. As you can see, it is successful. I will send a piece uh, a packet. I will send a packet from PC 9 from lab 2 to uh, laptop 1 in the library. As you can see, it is sent successfully. We'll try sending another packet from this laptop in lab 2 to laptop 1 in the library. So you can see the packet is sent successfully. Uh, now I will uh, send some packets from the devices which are in the hostel. Like I'll send a packet from one device to another which is in the same DHCP network itself. Laptop 7 to laptop 3. Packet is sent successfully. Send a packet from server to the laptop 6. As you can see, it's sent successfully. Uh, send a packet from one PC to the laptop. Successful. And one laptop to the server. You can see it's sent successful. Now I will send the packets in simulation mode and show you the the way the packets are sent. First, I'll send a packet from one of the pieces in lab 1 to this PC in lab 2. I will use capture forward and show you the transfer of packets. Now, I'm going to send packets from one, uh, one uh, area to the other using the simulation mode. I will show you the way the packets are transferred. Uh, I'll be sending a packet from one of the pieces in lab 1 to this PC in lab 2. And uh, I'll use capture forward to speed up the process. You can see the packet is sent successful with a time of uh, 18 milliseconds. Uh, I'll be sending another packet from this laptop and lab 2 to one of the PCs in lab 2 itself. Just capture forward.
pretty really successful over here so eventually the packet was sent from this laptop to this PC and then sent back to this laptop uh, successfully uh, now I'll try sending a packet from this PC in lab 2 to uh, the PC in the library can see the transfer of packet was successful uh, I'll send a packet from this laptop in lab 2 uh, to the laptop in the library it goes to the access point and then it goes to the la laptop in access point since uh, these two laptops are connected to the access point so now the message will be sent back to the source as an acknowledgement and the process was successful now I'll send some uh, packets from devices which are connected in the hostel within the hostel uh, I'll send a packet from uh, from one of the laptops to the PC then from the server to a PC and uh, from a PC to another laptop or laptop to laptop so I'll be sending a packet from the PC to the laptop I'll be sending a message from this PC to this laptop and the message was sent successfully now I'll send a message from the server to one of the laptops say okay this laptop The, the reason it sticked on this laptop because the message was supposed to be sent to this laptop whereas the access point sends the messages to all the other laptops but they are rejected by this laptop since uh, they were not uh, the destination was laptop 2 and not this laptop so all the I'll send a message from the server to this laptop the message is sent from the server to this switch and the switch sends a message to the access point the access point passes the message to all the other laptops with all these laptops uh, uh, reject this message since the destination was supposed to be laptop 2 whereas laptop 2 accepts a message then laptop 2 see as you can see the crosses on all these laptops show that uh, they have uh, rejected the message this laptop 2 shows green so laptop 2 will acknowledge it by sending it back to the access point which goes back to the switch and then back to the server and the process is successful it's going to be seen here so let's try sending another message from one laptop to another send to the access point and to the switch and the access point sends a message to all the other laptops but all the other laptops except the one that the message was uh, supposed to be sent to reject the message as you can see this red crosses whereas laptop 6 accepts the message as that was the destination and then it goes back to the access point switch and the switch
uh, it's eventually uh, the message transferred successfully so the process was successful uh, finally I'll try sending a message from the server to a laptop it's green but it's all the other laptop pushing red then goes back to the server and the message was sent successfully okay so that's it for the demo thank you